Well, as many of us are finishing up work for the day, some businesses like restaurants are just getting going. And as one young worker at Indy's downtown TGI Fridays, it's about to hit a big milestone. Anna Carrera talked with him today to see how far he's come. Armando has been working here for about a couple years now as part of a program through his high school. He has autism, but that hasn't stopped him from doing what he loves and making those around him very proud. It's a pretty quick walk to work from Armando Rodriguez's bus stop, but he's come a long way in the last few years. The George Washington High senior splits time between his class there and here, where he's learning a new set of skills. Armando keeps track of time, money, and the food he preps. I'm doing the rice pilaf first. Once you showed him what you wanted him to do, that he got it done, wham, and he's really precise at what he does. Not only is he a hard worker, he's also one of the friendliest guys you'll ever meet. Oh, there. He introduced me to about everyone in the building. I just wanted to introduce, this is Anna right over there. Armando is the only one in his life skills class at this level. Our goal is point blank from day one is to get these kids ready for the world that really doesn't care what the disability is. I'm mixing up the, uh, uh, the parsley and the peppers and to make them as independent as possible within that world. April is Autism Awareness Month, and as this month ends, Armando is looking ahead to bumping up his hours. Started off two days a week, built it up to three or four, and then once he graduates here in June, we'll be looking at Monday through Friday, he'll be working five days a week for us. I work to make people very proud. And that's what he hopes to keep doing. We've got to stop being afraid of they might get hurt or they might fail. You're right, they might. But that's how we grow. That's how we learn things. If we never take those chances, then what kind of life are we really wanting for these kids? Thanks, Kim. As Armando told me and reminded several others today, he graduates on June 7th, and he is really excited for that next chapter, not just here at work, but also in his life. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Anna Carrera, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.